morning, there are new strains of cannabis in town. Yeah, and they got their start on a farm nearly 1,500 miles away. The farmer is someone whose work has made people laugh for decades. I sat down with actor Jim Belushi to talk about his marijuana mission and why he brought it to the land of enchantment. Fans of actor Jim Belushi may recognize this sitcom opener, but today we are talking cannabis, according to Jim. And with his trusty dog, Taro, by his side, the actor talked about his passion project. The mission really is about the medicine. Right. Talk about that and, and where that started for you. Well, for me, it started with, uh, I, I visited dispensaries and I talked to people in dispensaries and everybody I talked to from the bud tenders to the customers, there's always a story. And every story is about the medical benefits that I hear. This is Belushi's farm, 93 acres along the Rogue River in Oregon. Belushi started with 48 plants and as you can see, he has many more. I've been growing for about seven. Okay. It's a real education. Uh, I am now a farmer. Farming is difficult. Yeah. It is not easy, yeah. but it is so beautiful. This is so much more than just a hobby for Belushi. It's deeply personal. You can tell when he talks about his brother, legendary actor John Belushi, who died tragically at just 33 years old. My brother died of a drug overdose, and <laughs> people are dying every day from fentanyl, from uh, drug overdoses, and it's just sickening to me. And cannabis is not a drug. It's not a gateway to harder drugs. It's a gateway to healing. Yeah, I think if John was a pothead, he'd be alive today. So what made Belushi pick New Mexico and Seven Clovers dispensaries to sell his four signature brands, including Blues Brothers? Well, uh, Seven Clovers, uh, they've been around for quite a while. Their cultivation techniques are uh, come from the legacy market, which means they've, they've been growing for a long time. I was like, wow, I've been to a lot of cultivation. And these guys know what they're doing. They're organic. They love the plant. They love the medicine. And it was a natural for me to partner up with them. Belushi recommends a strain that could even help your relationship. Yes, I have a strain called cherry pie that I call the marriage counselor. <laughs> because when you smoke it, it's really not strong. It's just very nice. When you smoke it, everything your partner says sounds beautiful. <laughs> Belushi's cannabis has been in Seven Clover stores since the end of June, but he was in town this week for the hard launch and to meet his fans and customers. He also fell in love with New Mexico. There's a feeling when you're cultivating, when you're growing, of being just spiritually connected to the earth. And that's the kind of feeling I have here in New Mexico. It's really beautiful feeling here. Yeah. They call it an enchanted land of enchantment. Land of enchantment. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And he said he is starting to feel that. He said that he was even like noticing homes for sale. Oh and wow. And kind of like take, taking mental notes. So we may have a new resident. Yeah, so stay tuned. Nice. We'll see. Be nice yeah. to him when he's in town. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. Great story. So yeah. glad to have him here uh, yeah. the other day. It was so. cool. Yeah.